Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, so welcome if you are new here. Bonjour, hello. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and like and comment. So today we're just gonna do a really chilled, t the, uh, I'm bringing back the old school stuff. I'm gonna do a TMI tag. Cause I thought, I've put up a few videos. I thought I might as well do one where I basically spout random facts about my life at you guys and I thought it could be a little bit fun is it going to go really well or really wrong I've got a list on my phone of the questions I'm going to answer some of them I'm going to skip because they're a bit irrelevant to the times but let's get to it so the first question is what are you wearing I am wearing a stripey it's meant to be a crop jumper, but I brought it oversized because that's what I do. Um, just sort of knitted jumper from Primark, a bralette from Topshop, some <laughs> leggings and socks that are also from Primark, and obviously underwear. Have you ever been in love? Yes, twice. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Unfortunately, at the time it was terrible, but things evened itself out. How tall are you? So I actually thought I was five foot eight until my brother came home one day and told us that he got measured at school and that he was five foot four or five foot five and I'm actually shorter than him. So I think I'm about five foot four. How much do you weigh? I do not know. I tend to not weigh myself because um, my weight has always been a bad topic for me and quite a like big part of my mental health. So I tend to stay away from scales. Do you have any tattoos? I do. I have a little planet looking thing on the inside of my finger. I also have <laughs> a moon on my foot, on my ankle, and a dagger on my leg. What is your favourite show? My favourite show is Supernatural and I stand by, I will stand by that till the day I die and I'm really sad that they're cancelling it. So we're going to move on because I'm just going to run if we don't. What are your favourite bands? Girl, I could be here for ages. Um, okay, so Bring Me The Horizon. It's really hard to pick favourite ones because I love so many. Papa Roach, Evanescence, Linkin Park. I like, I love Billie Eilish, but she's not a band. Technically, she's a solo artist. There's so many, I literally could not. I'd have to go on my Spotify and just read off all the bands I have. How old are you? I am 21. I know I look about 15, but I am indeed 21. I am legal to drink in America. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Leo. Uh, I am a Leo. I am proud to be a Leo and I am everything that a Leo is. So I love my star sign. When that thing came up about them moving the star signs along, I fell out of the Leo and got put into that like new one. And I was like, no. I'm a Leo. What is a quality you look for in a partner? Somebody that has good music taste and somebody that can make me laugh. What's your favourite quote? I feel like I know a lot of mental health ones but I can't think any of any on the spot and they're usually the ones that are my favourite. Let me see if I have any on my Instagram. So I can't think of my favourite one so I'm gonna just read one that I had on my Instagram before but I've archived it. Self-love is so important because when you're all alone and it's three in the morning and you're lying on the floor crying and shaking and wishing it would all end, who's going to be there for you? You. You have to pick yourself up and find the strength to carry on. At the end of the day, you're all you've got. That is an important one. You need to love yourself before you can love anyone else. I can't believe that's the only one I've got on there. You should have loads. Probably have some of my stories, actually. I always try and post them, like... If I see them on Tumblr or whatever, I'll always try and post them because I feel like there's always going to be someone that will read it that I can see. Oh, here's another one. You are not weak for having a mental illness. You are not weak for struggling. There is no shame in admitting that you need help. You are not alone. We are all with you and we'll help you win this fight. That's an important one. You're not weak. If you have a mental illness, you're actually quite strong because you're the one that's putting up with it. Yeah, so I probably have loads on my Instagram, but I can't really find my favourite one. So there's something... It's probably something to do with mental health for sure, for sure next question who is your favorite actor that's hard i love leonardo dicaprio 
don't we all? I also love Johnny Depp and I love Jensen and Jared from Supernatural. I don't really know. That's really hard. I tend not to have favourites in most topics, really. What is your favourite colour? Black. And for those people who are going to be like, black isn't a colour, black is a shade. Blue. Loud music or soft music? Loud. Where do you go when you're sad? To bed. <laughs> I am like the queen of depression naps. Um, yeah, probably to bed or I'll take a walk. I haven't taken a walk in a while though, but I used to take quite a lot of walks every time I was sad. Up to like a bench on the field and just sit there for a bit, I guess. How long does it take you to shower? Literally about 15 minutes. My boyfriend takes about an hour, I don't understand. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It depends what I'm doing. If I'm chilling, then it'll take me like five minutes because I'll just change in into some clothes that aren't my pajamas and then I'll chill. If I'm going just out for the day, it depends on whether I want to do a full face or like just a little bit of makeup. If I want to do a little bit of makeup, again, like five, 10 minutes. If it if I do full face like this, about half an hour. Have I ever been in a physical fight? No. What are your turn offs? Um, rude people, people who are like homophobic, racist. There's just no need for it. There's no need for so much hate in the world when there's like wars and s going on. Um, people who don't get my humour. People who don't care about mental um, illnesses. Quite a lot really. What is the reason you join YouTube? Okay, so I have wanted to join YouTube for about five years. So back when I was like 16. Um, the reason I've joined it is because I like having a creative outlet and I like connecting with people so YouTube is like the ideal place for that I'm not like rushing into it thinking oh I need to become a millionaire because I know that's really unrealistic but it is like an outlet for me it's a hobby it keeps my mind busy it keeps me busy and I just really really enjoy doing it what are your fears or phobias um I have a fear of drought like I don't like being, I can go swimming in a swimming pool, but I won't go swimming in the ocean. I have quite a big fear of the ocean. Um, I don't, sounds really stupid, but seagulls, anytime the seagulls around, I'm running around like a headless chicken, trying not to get pooed on. So that's great. Um, spiders, I'm not as bad as I used to be, but I don't, any big ones, I don't, I don't mess with. I'm not here to play with them. I don't think I have any phobias though. Being sick, I cannot be, like, I have a f really, I wouldn't say phobia, but it's a very, very large fear of being sick. When was the last, what was the last thing that made you cry? Probably my nan passing away back in April. Um, that hit me really hard because me and my nan were, like, super, 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 super close. And just before she died, we had an argument as well, and... That was like the last thing that we said to each other and her death was like really unexpected she wasn't ill or anything it just like happened overnight so that made me obviously cry um i think that was the last time i cried and it, well anytime that i've cried since then has usually been in mourning of her um i though i did have a little bit of a breakdown the other night to do with like stress and work but again a lot of it ties in with her leaving as well Last time you said you love someone? Uh, about an hour ago to my boyfriend. Meaning behind your YouTube name or other or other usernames? I mean, my YouTube name is literally It's Me Soph because it is me, Sophie. So there's not really a meaning behind it, it's just my name. What was the last book you read? I think it was The Snowman, but I can't remember the author, but I think it was The Snowman, and I haven't finished it, so I haven't really read it, but I'm reading it. Oh, so what's the book you're currently reading? Not that one, actually. It's, I'm just starting Stephen King Outsider, The Outsider. Just literally about to start that earlier on. I'm also reading a book called, like, Your Inner Psychic or something because oh, um, it's to do with like what was the last show you watched? Uh, Stranger Things I binged it, finished it 
now I've got to wait for the next season. So annoying. Although I actually watched Celebs Go Dating last night, so I guess that counts as a series. I suppose. Kind of. Um, last person you talked to? My boyfriend. Literally just text him. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Oh, the last... The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Again, boyfriend, so... Boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, what's your favourite food? Lasagna, but I can't eat it because I'm lactose intolerant. Love my life. I also love roasts. Roasts, mm, and nachos. Place you want to visit? Australia. I would love to go to Australia. I have family in Australia, in Australia who I could probably stay with for free, but... I have a massive fear of flying. I've never been on a plane. It scares the life out of me. God knows when I'll go. I also want to go to America as well, but with everything that's happening, it's kind of put me off. Last place you were? Here. I haven't been abroad in like six years. I went to Wales in July, I guess. That counts as going away somewhere. Do you have a crush? Obviously, I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend's my crush every day. Last time you kissed someone before my boyfriend went out. My boyfriend, again. Last time you were insulted. I don't actually know. I can't even, I mean, I'm sure I've been insulted plenty of times behind my back because people are fake. But to my face, I don't think I've been insulted any time recently. So I can't really remember when the last time I was. Probably when I got in an argument with someone. I don't know. Favourite flavour of sweet? See, I don't really like sweets unless they're like hard boiled ones like sherbet lemons. So I guess sherbet lemons because I don't really like like Haribo's or anything like that. What instruments do you play? Uh, I don't play any. I can play the keyboard. I'm pretty good. I mean, I could, if I had like some sheet music that said the notes. I can't read sheet music, but if it said the notes on it then I'd be able to play the chords and the notes quite easily, but I don't really play it. My favourite piece of jewellery? Probably either my ring from Connor or my Pandora bracelet from my stepdad from my 21st. Last sport you played? I don't play sports. Um, I mean, I've played like netball in the past like years ago i used to dance i've played sports with like old family last song you sang never ending story because that song is stuck in my head favorite chat up line i don't like chat up lines and i won't if i ever use them they're jokingly and it's me trying to make my boyfriend uncomfortable <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't really have a favourite because they're all cheesy as hell. Um, have I ever used it? No, because I don't have them. Last time you hung out with anyone? Again, I hang out with my boyfriend all the time because I live with him. Um, but actually hanging out with someone was probably like a week or two ago, I guess. Who should answer these questions next? It's the last one. That's a really weird one. Um, I don't know because I don't have any YouTuber friends. <laughs> have you ever used another person's toothbrush. It's gonna sound gross, but yes I have. What TV show was your favorite from childhood? I really liked, what was it, Mona the Vampire? Is that what she was called, was it Mona? Yeah, I really liked Mona the Vampire, but that's probably just my emo vampire loving self. What album can you listen to till your death? All of Billie Eilish's ones. Do you believe in aliens? I'm not sure. I am not sure on that one. Whom do you love most, mother or father? Mother, for sure. How many push-ups can you do? Does half count? Do you believe in religions? That's a tough one because I was christened, but I don't go to church or anything, but then I believe in the whole like ghosts and stuff. And a lot of people, when you look into it, you are technically supposed to be religious. Or Christian if you want to like get rid of the said demons and stuff so it's really hard I personally don't believe that there was a Jesus but what do I know 
Which is better, rap or rock? That is a hard one because those are literally my two go-to genres. But um, I'm gonna go with rock. If you won one billion dollars in a lot lottery, a oh, billion pounds in a lottery, what would you do? I would, first of all, I would buy myself a house so that I could buy some doggos. And then I would buy my mum a house so that she was happier. And then I would invest the rest. Well, I'd donate to char mental health charities and like women's shelters and stuff. And then I would save some because it's better off being in your bank account because you get interest every month or year or whatever. And the more money you have in there, the more interest you get. So I'm just saying. But yeah, so that is the TMI tag over and done with. I hope that it gave you some kind of insight into my life. Um, if there is anything you want to know specifically, like I said, she's okay, she's okay. If there is anything you'd like to know specifically, message me. I always put like the question thing up on my Instagram story, or tweet me a question, or just write it in the comments. I am an open book. I don't mind chatting. I quite like chatting. I like having chit chats. Um, I'm a social butterfly when I'm not being my introvert self. But yeah, so. That is all everybody, like, comment and subscribe and share if you want to share, I don't mind, um, but yeah, that is me over and out. Thank you, bye!